to you guys. All right, Jenny, thank you very much. President Obama obviously has laid out this ambitious agenda. Will it help him politically, and will Congress go along? Joining us is Joseph Schatz with Congressional Quarterly to talk about that. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Uh, we heard in the tail end of what uh, Jenny was saying there. Uh, you know, obviously, the president speaks, people listen, and then they go back and start uh, uh, parsing his words and saying, well, he didn't give us any real details. And, and, and on the d Democratic side, oh, this is a great plan now. Uh, it, is anything going to get done on this? Well, I think, as you mentioned, you know, Democrats are pleased with what the president laid out last night because he, he, he put out a number of proposals they've been looking for, infrastructure spending, spending to prevent layoffs in schools and among first responders. Um, Republicans in general didn't like the spending, but there are a number of proposals that the White House designed specifically to get Republican support or at least to make it difficult for Republicans to reject them out of hand. And those are an extension of the payroll tax cut that was enacted last year and some more specific tax cuts designed to actually get businesses to hire new people. And so some of those proposals are getting, getting a hearing among Republicans. I mean, there are a number of conservatives last night who dismissed the speech out of hand, but the Speaker of the House, John Boehner, the Majority Leader, Eric Cantor, both had sort of measured words saying, you know, there, there are certain proposals in there that they are, they're willing to consider. And so it was really a mixed, sort of a, a less... Uh, less stiff response from Republicans than you might have expected. How do you think the American people uh, might react to this? It's a good question. I think that the president, it, the speech was, was striking for how short it was compared to some of his more recent speeches, about 30 minutes, very assertive, very forceful, you know, challenging Republicans to get on board and reminding Republicans that they also share political responsibility for the economy. You know, he's not doing well in, in opinion polls. Um, with his handling of the economy, but neither Republicans. Republicans are looked on even worse by mm -hmm. many of the public. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that the question is whether Republicans see it in their interest politically to get on board, if they think, or if they think rejecting all this would be risky for them, too. The president obviously laid out a, a number of details in terms of what he wants to do and, and what he thinks these measures will do to help the job situation and the economy. But uh, it was light on information in terms of how it's going to be paid for. Uh, we're looking at the super committee again to find ways to do that. Uh, how do you think that will play both on Congress and, and with the American people? Well, that's the big sort of process question now on the Hill because as you, as you said, the president wants this new super committee, which is tasked with finding $1.2 trillion in spending cuts, to also do his jobs package. And so that will obviously add, you know, if he's trying to add another $450 billion of spending and tax cuts in there, they'll have to find another several hundred billion dollars um, in savings. And as you mentioned, he has not laid out how he wants to pay for it. But he gave some hints last night. And he said again that uh, Congress needs to be willing to consider higher taxes on the wealthiest Americans, um, changing some corporate tax measures. So I think what you're probably going to see next week is a, a familiar list of, of tax and spe you know tax increases, some spending cuts from the president. He said he's willing to consider entitlement cuts, Medicare and Medicaid, but only if Republicans get on board with some with some tax increases. So I think, um, as you mentioned, there are no details on how he wants to pay for it. That's going to be the most difficult part of this. I think Republicans will get on board with some of the tax cuts, um, but how you pay for it, how you do it within that super committee, um, is a complicated question that they're only beginning to consider right now. All right, very good. Joseph Schatz with Congressional Quarterly. Thanks, Thanks for coming much. in. Good Thanks to talk to you about it. Appreciate we appreciate it. it. Allison, back to you.